as I said on Friday, this is history right before our eyes. In the fight against the protection of the African child from child sexual abuse. And I'm glad and feel privileged to be part of this moment in history. Why did I say so? Someone said, every day is the usual day until something happens. Things do not happen until people make it happen. Even the depletion of ozone layer is traceable to human action and inaction. God gave man dominion to take over the earth. And so whatever happens in the earth, as we are crying to God, God is crying to us and say we should do something. And that is why I think Winston Churchill said that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for men and women of goodwill to stand by and do nothing. I think it is in this spirit that I believe strongly the words of John F. Kennedy that the hottest place in hell, the hottest place in hell should be reserved for those who keep quiet in the time of moral crisis. The hottest place in hell. And the question we need to ask is, are we experiencing moral crisis? I tell you, it is true. It's so. If childhood is synonymous with innocence, I, Taiwo, Akila, me, I never knew childhood. I never knew innocence. Childhood is synonymous with joy, peace, freedom, curiousness, freedom. I never knew all that. Because from age six, when I was, that was the year I started primary school, my mother would go to the market and leave me with this particular woman. My mother made two fundamental mistakes. She wasn't an evil woman. She wasn't a wicked woman. She made two fundamental mistakes. Number one mistake, she thought that renting house in Adoekiti, number one, Orero Wood Street, is synonymous with being a good character. I have never seen where, because somebody came to, when somebody wants to rent house, even in 2014 in Lagos, that you just showed that your certificate of good behavior. What is the profile of a pedophile? A pedophile is an average man who is married with two children. That's the profile. That is why in Akoka, a mechanical engineer working with an international company was found molesting a six-year-old who has three children in Akoka, here in Lagos. The second mistake my mother made was that she thought that somebody is your neighbor, is a nanny. When you check the English dictionary, neighbor is not nanny. There are two different things. And my mother concluded that because somebody is your neighbor, he became a nanny. I don't know how she read her own dictionary. And so this woman who stripped me naked at the age of six, do with a six-year-old boy what a woman should do with a man. And that happened continuously for almost two years on a daily basis. My parents never told me anything about my sexuality. I didn't even know I could talk to them. My father died at the age of 82 in 1989. I never had a conversation with him. He never instructed me on anything of life. But I observed him. Many days he would be drunk. He won't be able to find his way home. They would have to come and call us to bring him home. There was no time. My mother was busy in the market. As a child, I started having sexual relationship with other children. As a teenager, I started having an access in today's parlance, we call it homosexuality. As a teenager, I've taken my father's neighbor's daughter into my father's bedroom, I'd molested her sexually, and I'd warned her not to tell anybody. By the time I got to the university, I went mad. I was not suffering from low self-esteem, I was suffering from no self, no esteem. Low self-esteem is that you are aware of your, of your personality and you are conscious of it, but you believe that your esteem is low. You should go to church and share testimony. Those who are suffering from low self-esteem. I was not suffering from low self-esteem. I was suffering from no self, no esteem. 